Hello, it's me again. This is video number three. Um, in this video, we're gonna walk through groups um, and kind of what they are a little bit further than I explained before and um, just talk about how they work and show you how to join groups so that you can interact with other people in the community. So again, you're gonna be on your homepage likely when you start out. Um, so you're going to head over here to groups, which makes sense. Um, I highly suggest joining the open forum group first. This is kind of like a catch all, right? So the homepage shows you everything that's posted, but the open forum will be where everybody, everybody can post. Well, everybody who joins the group. So I really suggest joining the open forum group because that's, you know, what it is. It's an open forum where you can interact with um, everybody that's in there. Um, it isn't, it isn't geared toward a specific topic. It's not, you know, uh, landscape. It's not genre related. It's just a general open forum for everybody to, um, you know, take part in, um, you know, like it says, let us know what's on your mind politely. Um, and just to share with the community. And, and for now there's, it's a good place to post images that don't fit in other groups. Um, eventually we'll add more groups. We don't want to overwhelm uh, right away with all the groups. So, so I would join open forum first. <clears throat> this would also be a good place to post an introduction and I'll have a, there'll be a video how to post as well later. So um, we'll show you how to do that. But right now I just want to talk about the groups and show you the different groups. So um, that's the open forum group. Anytime you are navigating the site and want to go back to the home page, you just go up here on the left um, and click on back to network. This is all on the web based platform on my laptop. So the um, iOS and Android based platform apps um, actually work fairly well um, and are, you know, they're going to be a little bit different. Like all apps are all a little bit different than what you get when you are um, using the web, the web-based platform. So, um, but they're fairly similar. So you should be able to figure if you, if you have any problem with any of the app, app, um, with the app, how about, um, just let me know and we'll figure it out. So that was the open forum group, right? I'm still in the groups page. So the groups page will list all the groups that we have. Um, and you can just scroll down and see right now what we have. There's a community learning group, which is going to be um, tutorials and articles from the from the community. Hopefully, uh, we'd like you to start sharing. If you, you know, we're not forcing anybody to do this, but we all learn from each other. We can all teach each other things. We, um, you know, I've already asked a couple of people to share their behind the scenes if they've done that or how they've gotten an image. Um, because by doing that, we're helping other people, um, and we're helping each other, you know, learn something new that they didn't realize they could do before maybe, or didn't know how to do it. So community learning is going to be a good spot for that. Um, I would suggest joining that as well. Um, photo challenges is a weekly, every Monday, there's a challenge posted. Um, and Julie Powell and I are running that. So every Monday, a new challenge will be posted. You'll get a post with you know, explaining what the challenge is. We'll tell you what you need to do. And then you can post your images um, within, within the group under the topic for that particular month of challenges. Or, I mean, some people have posted their, um, have actually posted their images underneath the post, which is fine too. Um, I think it's better to post as, an, as a post by itself, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we talk about posts um, as well. So, so that is the photo challenge group. Then there's groups for types of photography. So if you're a portrait photographer, or if you wanna learn about portrait photography, I would suggest joining the portrait group, landscape photographers, fine art photographers, sports, wildlife, street, film, uh, mobile, I'm pretty sure everybody should join that, right? Don't we all shoot with mobile phones anymore? Um, astrophotography, video, Photoshop, Lightroom, Luminar, printing. Um, so those are all the groups that we have right now. I have a list of suggestions of other groups that we'll be adding eventually. 
you know, every week or two weeks. Um, we don't want to just kind of just throw a bunch of groups out there um, because we'd all kind of like to get to know each other first. There's 700 of us in here. So if we all split up into groups, we don't know, you know, who we're missing. Um, but again, my suggestion, definitely join the open forum. Um, community learning, I would also, you know, as many groups as you, you know, want to be a part of, you know, if you have no interest in sports photography, then don't join that group. But um, so you'll find the list of groups and then you'll be able to join those, those groups. And if you have any questions, again, let me know um, that I believe that joining groups is pretty straightforward. So um, find the join, find and join the groups that you are most interested in. If you have suggestions, we're open to that. Let me know um, and we'll put them on the list. Thanks very much.